Let all things melt into the sea. Everything is more beautiful because we are doomed. We will never be lovelier than now we are. We will never again be here. Truly great men must have on earth great sadness, which fosters greatness. To humans, nothing is inevitable. We are guided by our intelligence and experience. And if we are of the children of God, we are guided by the Holy Spirit, the Spirit who is Jesus. There is, however, the inevitability of gradualness, for we have formed habits and routines which have a life of their own. And if we are wise, among these is unceasing prayer. Early of morn we are bombarded by images, the sky, the land, the news of the day, and memories that appear uncalled. These all may be arrows flying to prayer. We cut and cut the flowers, but cannot keep the spring from coming. Scientists believe that nature will dominate all things, and by entropic or catastrophic progression, our planet will come to be extinct. Shall they not rather have believed that you have, in eternity, set the day for the consummation of all things? The routines of the societies are paradoxical and dangerous enterprises. The traditional and improvised, the sacred and the secular. The appearance of Jesus made concrete all promise and prophecy, raised the status of women and replaced traditions and prohibitions with grace and with mercy, brought down from above. Said he, why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? We are captive to a hollow and deceptive philosophy which depends upon human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than on you, the Anointed One, come to set us free. We are like halflings <clears throat> from the Shire, simple hobbits of the quiet countryside, expected to find a way where even the Great Ones cannot go or dared not go. It is an evil fate. The stars hold not our destiny, nor we within ourselves, but it is you commands our lives. The stars shine darkly over us. The veil of them was given to the dark powers. May we see the book of fate and see the revolution of the times? Yes, but it is of another place we shall attend. Our thoughts are ours. Their ends, none of our own. Let all things melt into the sea, and we be free, free, free. Amen.